Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I am going to be reviewing the newly refreshed Apple TV 4K 2022 edition. This is in a new, sleeker, slimmer box, as you can see. It looks totally different than the 2021 Apple TV 4K, which I also own. I have now, this is my fourth Apple TV that I have purchased. Um, as you can see, comparing this to the 2021 model, just look at the difference in the size of the boxes here. They're almost the same um, in terms of height, just a little bit, just a slight bit centimeter or so on the new newer box for the 2022 model. But the 2021 box is way wider. Um, I believe that came with a lightning cable as well. Uh, the 2022 model does not come with a um, cable from what I know. I'm very excited to get into this, open the box, do an unboxing here for you. And yes, the Apple TV itself is smaller on the 2022 version. It doesn't have the word, the letters TV, it just has the Apple logo. Um, and on the side, it just says Apple TV 4K. As you can see here, I opted for the $20 more expensive model, the 149 model, which in this case gives you Wi-Fi plus Ethernet because there is a cheaper model for 129 um, that just comes with Wi-Fi and not Ethernet, but I connect my Ethernet with a, um, with a hub. If you look compared to the 2021, HDMI is in the middle. Um, I don't know why they switched it to the middle now but with the Ethernet port, but... And yeah, comparing the two side by side or on top of each other, if you will, you can see how much bigger the Apple TV 2021 version, 4K version is. It's just, I mean, it's so much heavier, it's so much bigger, um, but this this newer version, so sleek it's fanless again it um it has the a15 bionic chip and it has threading support which is awesome um i don't know if it's really a technology that is quite mainstream yet but um we'll get into that a little bit later I want to talk about this remote for a second. As you can see, it looks totally the same, right, as the 2021 version, which I have right here side by side. Literally looks identical, right? Well, there's one difference. There is one difference with the new remote. The only difference here, guys, is the newer Apple remote has USB-C, okay? That one there is the lightning port for the 2021 version, and the newer version, the 2022 version, boom, USB-C, which is really nice as we start to mainstream USB-C and get away from lightning. But yeah, that is the only difference in the new Apple remote, Apple TV 4K remote, has USB-C. Everything else is the same. All the buttons, everything is the same. That's the only difference. So this really isn't a big, big refresh, but... Um, I'm a sucker for Apple products, so I was all in for this thing. I am super excited to plug this thing in and show you what it looks like on the big screen, on the 4K screen, with the Dolby Atmos and everything else. Okay, we're just going to run this Apple TV through the quick setup. It's made seamless using your iPhone. So as you can see there, I'm getting close to the Apple TV to hook it up and use my phone. It'll pull down my iCloud account. So that's really awesome. And then I'm going to go through all this setup stuff, Siri dictation, turn on my home screen so they're all the same across my three or four different devices, choosing my bedroom because that's where it's going, not going to use my home pod at the time, turn on location services, those beautiful wallpapers, accept that, and then we're in. So I'll show you what this looks like. 
and here's all the apps that are immediately starting to download. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sign into everything um, one at a time, all my apps one at a time, so obviously I'm not gonna do that on video here or anything, but I am signed into the Apple TV app, so um, I will be showing you guys a trailer to let you guys see what the video quality is, but as you can see, it's just so snappy. The scrolling, the um, just the smoothness, uh, what does this say, shared with you, yeah, this is a new feature in messages, I'm gonna turn that on real quick, confirming it using my iPhone again, perfect. So anything my friends share uh, will, will pop up here. So this is my watch now, don't judge, these are the shows I'm currently watching. Mosquito Coast season two just dropped, actually, the first episode dropped today, so that's cool. Uh, per the Peripheral, by the way, also dropped its newest episode today, love that show on Amazon Prime. So let me just scroll through here, uh, try to find you guys a uh, trailer that you guys can watch. I'll probably uh, throw up the Mosquito Coast if I could find a trailer for the second season of that. Uh, but while I do that, guys, I just want to reiterate um, what threading support is that this now supports. Uh, threading is basically like think of a, of a range extender, a Wi-Fi range extender. If you have other smart bulbs or smart um, plugs that use low band Wi-Fi, if they don't have good signals, this Apple TV 4K will now act as a thread to help connect those devices so they all have a nice strong signal. So that's really cool there. Let's play the trailer here. Here we go. Everything's going to be different from now on. Do you want to make us a home, whether we like it or not? Children home to get high, turn your heads to the sky. It took a long time for this place to find its footing. And I took a very personal risk bringing you here, Allie. Please, don't make me regret that choice. You don't want to stay here with me. Um, here's a quick, there, there is a new update with Siri um, where it pops up on the side and not the bottom, so it's kind of out of the way and see how I asked it the weather and it pops up on the side so it's not really kind of taking taking over the whole screen. So that's a really cool new feature, which I believe the um, 2021 model will um, carry that as well. Again, you can connect it to a HomePod. If you have two HomePod minis, for example, you can get a surround sound type of experience. But I buy the Apple TV simply for the fact that I can put my AirPods in, turn on active noise cancellation, and not have to hear lawnmowers outside or people bickering downstairs or just any sort of outside noise. And it's it, it's worth 150 just alone for that to watch movies and TV shows with, with Dolby Atmos and just the the active noise cancellation and spatial audio is unbelievable. So I absolutely love spatial audio. And listen, I'm a sucker for Apple products. I'll say it. I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. I love everything about Apple's products. I buy every new iPhone. I have the iPhone 14 Pro. Um, I have I, you know, just clearly bought this. I didn't buy the new AirPods Pro 2 yet, um, but that's a different story. My AirPods Pro 1, um, there was a defect on them. So not even a year ago, or maybe less than a year ago, I got new, um, basically, Apple AirPods Pro from the store that for free. So I don't really need to get the newest AirPods Pro 2 just yet, but um, I'm trying to work this remote because it always defaults to um, the home button which I call it the TV button always defaults to the Apple TV app. I like to, I got to change that in the settings to default to the uh, home screen. But these look at this look at this wallpaper, this screensaver. I, I love the screensavers on this thing. Um, just stunningly beautiful. You can't again really get the best effects from you know I have all the lights on and everything. But again, this the Apple TV by far and away is one of the best pro I use this thing every day, literally every day to watch TV, to watch my movies. It is so fast, it's so snappy. Um, it works with HomeKit, like I said. Uh, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. And, and it's a home run when you add the AirPods. If you've never had an Apple TV or you say, well, you know, Anthony, why, why would I get an Apple TV when I have all those apps built in? I don't wanna pay 150 bucks. You can 
get the 2021 version, by the way. Amazon is clearing those out for 100 bucks, but you want to get it because it will continue to work over years and years. It's the Apple ecosystem, the apps, the scrolling through the interface. There's no lag. Everything is smooth. It's buttery smooth. Again, A15 Bionic chip. The specs are are out of this world. I take this thing with me on vacations. Um, I love, 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 love it. And like I said, I use it every single day. So I hope you guys watched this video and enjoyed it and learned something. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think, if you bought this already or not. And, um, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.